Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been to the dentist today and got a filling and the numbness is wearing off. It's like actually agony now so sorry about that if I look a bit distressed I kind of am. Let's get to it. I'll show you what I've been loving. The first thing is a fashion item and I love this jumper so much. This is the um, Paul, Sis Paul and Joe Sisters sweater and it's so cute. It has Tweety Pie on it. It has Bugs Bunny on it. It has Sylvester on it and little eyes and like a little bomb and a banana. There's a banana. There is a banana there. There. And it's just so cute. It's so snug. It's like so fleecy. It's so cute. I treated myself to these. These are ooh, little Tom Ford. Um, don't get too excited. It's just some sunglasses. So um these are my new sunglasses. I love them. It's actually really good for filming because the ring light. So maybe I'll just leave them on for the rest of the video, maybe. Don't know. So yeah, I love them. Got the TF and just love the cat's eye. I've got one other pair of some sunglasses, but they're quite big bug ones. I love them. But I just wanted something a little bit more that framed my face. I saw these in duty free back in January. And I was going to get them, but they didn't have a fresh pair, and I've just been thinking about them ever since. So I thought I'd treat myself for my birthday. So I'm just loving, loving these. I can't wait to wear them. I've got some beauty items I have been loving this month. So I've never heard of Sarah Hat before until um, I follow Rosie Huntington Whiteley on Snapchat, and she basically said this was like the best lip scrub ever. And my lips have been so dry from winter, like nothing ever fixes them. Lip balm, you know, it's a short relief, but you know, I always have the constant problem. So I decided to give it a try. It comes in um, all different flavors. So I got vanilla bean, but it comes in like raspberry. I think and loads of different flavours so I couldn't decide for one what flavour to get so I decided on vanilla bean because it came um I think I got some beauty bait so it came in a set um with also the lip uh balm which is called the lip slip and everyone said this was amazing it's quite a thick lip balm but everyone was like oh my god you have to get it so I've been using these two now all month and I, I like love them my lips are super soft and not flaky at all and they've got so much better i also had dryness here above my lip and it's like completely gone so yeah these are so good i definitely recommend both of them the lip scrub is so lush like you just rub it on wipe it off with the tissue your lips feel so lovely and exfoliated and then i use this because it's quite thick i use it just at night like a kind of lip mask and i wake up when my lips are really really super soft so definitely recommend the combo so nux 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 not sure how you say it um sent me uh, a few things to try out i've never tried the brand before it's kind of like skincare one of my favorite things i've enjoyed using is the muscular cleansing water and it's got rose petals in it so I use a lot of rose water, it's really hydrating, so I thought this would be good because obviously rose water you can't really use it to take off your makeup. So this has kind of got rose water, rose petals in it, so the face and the eyes, it's really good for sensitive skin. And I've been loving using it, so what I've done with this is kind of use it to take my makeup off and then I'll kind of like do a deeper cleanse with my other cleanser. Um, it just makes my face feel kind of quite hydrated, quite plump and then I'll follow with my rose water as a toner. So I really love this product, this is so super nice. My last five fave is... Um, these which are nail berry polish so i went for um, a manicure at dry by salon in london a little while ago and it wasn't a gel one it was just a normal one and they use nail berry and my manicure lasted a whole week um i think like the last couple like the last day the day last couple of days it started to chip but not that bad and i've never really had a manicure that's just been a normal one that hasn't chipped like no matter how good the person is at doing your nails it always chips and I wondered if it was you know the polish so I've got these I've got the orange and the coral I've got one on which is chipped because I've had it on for a while and what I love about them is they are five free of chemicals another five so no formaldehyde no toler I'm not going to read these out because I can't say them 
and they're cruelty free. So this is a low oxygen range, which is kind of like to, I think help your nails sort of breathe a bit more. Um, but yeah, really loving them. I think they're really great nail polishes if you're looking for just a normal nail polish that isn't a gel one. And that is my March favourite. Make sure you're subscribing because I do post a new video every week on Friday. So stay tuned for them and I'll see you later. Bye!